I find joy in helping others. And to see my children pick up that same trait is awesome. So I have three different generations, right? I have my 20-year-old son and my 17-year-old daughter. And I have my 12-year-old daughter and my 10-year-old son. And the baby's all by herself in her own little world, right? Their hearts are so pure. Their personalities, all different. But the one thing they all possess is their passion to love and care for others, how open they are. Um, and it makes me proud as a mom. At the age of 14, I was using marijuana. And eventually that elevated and I started using marijuana and crack cocaine mixed together. And then eventually it ended up with just crack cocaine. I don't know when I crossed that line into full addiction, but That was a lonely place. That was a lonely place, and I used for 15 years. Upon the third child that was born substance exposed, a case plan and was open. Um, I didn't comply. Um, I didn't understand the dynamics of the case plan. And I just didn't care. I didn't. So my case was open actually a few months. And the incident happened, and. DCFS was called, police were called. Um, I had warrants. Um, I had family members that arrived at the time. Um, they heard of the chaos that was going on and were there to take my kids. You know, they were there to get my kids. What better way to get my attention? What better way for me to change but take something that I loved? When my children were removed, my life changed. And when I made that vow and surrendered to God, doors opened, my life changed. I stayed in treatment a year and four months. The best time of my life. I got to create a new identity. I was no more that person that used drugs. I learned how to do parenting skills. I learned how to care for my children, nurture my children. I got a job, I saved money, got a new house, I did. I took that suggestion and changed my people, places, and things. That was such an accomplishment for me. And I got my kids back. I was reunified with my children. So six months after my case is closed and we're doing well and I'm working, um, my worker comes to my door. And I opened the door for her, and she had a piece of paper. She handed it to me. It was an organization. It was a parent partner program coming to Louisiana. And the judge and the staff at the Department of Children and Family Services here in uh, New Iberia, where my case was open, decided I would be a good candidate for this job. So I know just being that support to a parent, it makes a difference. I didn't have anyone there to hold my hand throughout the process. Ten years ago it was, here's your case plan. You either complete it or all your kids get removed. You just basically do as you're told. Um, you didn't have any say so. Um, it, was, it was lonely. It was hard. You're there for them. At their lowest point you can say, hey, I've been there. Because I, I know for me it was the same, right? You get this young person in front of you with this case plan telling you your kids are being removed. It's like, who are you? Have you been on drugs before? Do you even have kids? And the first thing they want to tell you is, I know what you're going through. No, you don't. No, you don't. So a parent partner can actually say, I've been there. Let me show you. I know it's difficult, but you have to trust the process. This is me. This is who I am. Um, I don't think I ever get to sit down. And I don't want to. There's so much needs to be done. I stayed down 15 years. It's no excuses. I've got work to do. Um, I got families to reach. I have policymakers that need to hear my voice of, of laws that's coming into child welfare system. Um, I have work to do. It's, it's, it's just who I am.